Hello, Sam here again, and today is week three of Being Silent. How's it going for you? For those of you who are joining along with me, taking time out of your day in quiet to listen to God, I'd love to hear how this is going for you. And I know I said it last week, but I genuinely would love to hear from you. Church and community is about sharing experiences, going through things together. So if you're loving this and finding it really helpful, fantastic. Share your stories and encouragement with others. If you're finding it difficult, that's also okay. It's not always easy. Let's share that burden together. So if you want to contact me or any any of the team, message us on Facebook or Instagram or email us at plexus at salvationarmy.org.uk. All the links you'll need will be in the description below. For when I stop and breathe in your presence, I find that you are the answer. You're all I need. And even when I don't understand, I know I am safe in your hands. Just breathe. Just So before I mentioned about finding things difficult, and some of you may know, I'm naturally a more quiet person, an introvert baby, and in some social situations with people maybe that I don't know very well, I can feel great pressure to make sure I say something, have something to say, appear interesting, or maybe I've got something that I feel is interesting, but can't quite get it out into the conversation. I don't have the confidence to say it out loud with the fear of other people thinking I'm boring, Or maybe the conversation goes quiet. And as I've said the least so far, I can feel those eyes on me thinking, why is he not speaking? Or is that just in my head? There can be so many anxieties just in conversations. And I think as we spend time trying to listen, some of these anxieties could creep in. We can put a pressure on ourselves to hear, thinking, well, that was a waste of time. I didn't hear anything from the Lord or... Well, that person hears from the Lord all the time. Why aren't I hearing anything? But when I feel like this, I always try to remember something that my mum told me. The ability to just sit silently with someone and not feel awkward, not feel like it's an issue, is a true sign of friendship and relationship. It's a mutual knowledge that you just like someone for who they are. You don't have to always try and be interesting to impress the other person. You just have a mutual knowledge that you're appreciated. So as an encouragement to you and me, as we try to be silent with God, bask in his presence and listen. There is no pressure to hear anything. Practice grace with yourself. It's just peaceful and relaxing to be able to relax together with the Lord who cares for us. So remember those wise words as today we take time to meditate and spend time with the Father. And like anything, the more we do it, the more we ask, the more we press into God, the more we will learn, the more we will learn his voice and what it sounds like. So for the next part of today's podcast, if you're listening on double speed, as I often do, I invite you to come back, slow it down to normal speed as we bask in God's presence together. And also, if you normally listen to this whilst doing something else, like getting ready for work or washing the dishes or someone else, I don't know, whatever it may be. Feel free to carry on and take part, listen to God as you do, but at the same time, maybe try and schedule some time in this week with nothing to do and sit and invite the Holy Spirit to be with you in silence. And if you're driving, definitely keep concentrating on that. Keep your eyes on the road, stay safe. Let's intentionally place ourselves in the presence of God, somewhere comfortable, and invite him to be with us. One thing you may want to do to help focus your mind is place an extra chair wherever you are, get an extra space for someone else and pray. Ask Jesus to come and sit or be there with you. Spend time together. Express your desires. Lord, I want to hear from you. Come and be with me. Fill me with your strength. I'm struggling, Lord. Help me. Guide me. I am here, I am with you. If your mind wanders, 
don't worry. Gently guide yourself back to God's presence. Be with Jesus. Concentrate on who he is and his love for you. Thank the Lord for his care for you. Thank you, Lord, that you're always there. Listen. Be still. Allow the Holy Spirit to show you the goodness of the Lord that has been following you all the days of your life. Enjoy his presence. Ask to reveal what he loves about you and why he made you. You may want to choose a Bible verse, a psalm, to help focus your thoughts. Here are some verses from Psalm 139. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hands upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hands will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. questions. How can I love you deeper, Lord? Where do I need to grow? What breaks your heart? Break my heart for what breaks yours. Where is there sin in my life? Listen for his response. John 10, 27. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. Help us to learn your voice more, Lord. As you listen, an inner impression, picture, or verse of scripture may come to mind. Meditate on these and ask if they are in accordance to his word, plan, and love. Keep practicing this, and maybe make a note or journal of what comes. When you have finished, say thank you. Thank the Lord for all he has done and continues to do in your life. Ask him to keep speaking to you and being with you as you go through the rest of your day. Allow his love and power to go with you. As this next piece of music plays, keep concentrating on him and listen to what the Lord has to say to you today. (laughs) 